why we are back so we are up here at may 27th now we've got a lot of our scouting already taken care of we've got our finalized here just for the last little bit um now i do want to actually pull this up again let's see if i can get it over here there we go all right so i am thinking that we go ahead and we're going to do the off season in this video for sure. Now, give me one second because I'm pulling something up. Um, we have, um, we are going to, let's see. I want to just make sure I want to pull this comment up because it has the information I need. All right. So we've got these scouts sent out. So we're going to have everybody scouted that we need scouted. Um, now, I can show you guys the draft class really quick. Uh, we've already seen it a couple times. Calais Peterstrom is probably going to go number one. But we do have a couple guys here that we could go for because we're probably going to drop to somewhere around like here area. So we do have some like elite lows. Jerome Bork. Um, that's someone we could potentially go for. We've got some other guys as well like Kulikov, Abel Lackey. Um, we do have some other guys we can go for. Uh, Trent Hillis, another goalie that's down here. We got some other elite lows that are going like way down and like, yeah, down over here. So Bork, Kulikov, Lackey. Um, we've got some elite medium skaters here. Yuri Markov and Ricard Lejeunin. Um, that the reason they're going lower is because they're not NHL ready. Their NHL ETA is five years. So they're probably like 60 overall. But they do have that medium elite, so that's not too bad. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to sim up to the draft here because that's pretty much the last thing we... Pretty much what we got next. So we know the Edmonton Oilers are the Stanley Cup champions. We've lost to the Stanley Cup champions two years in a row, so can't really complain too much about that. Um... We do not have a lottery pick because we made the playoffs. So we did know that as well. We can continue simming. Let's see. Anybody here that we need to worry about? Does not look like it. And the uh, following retired players now. Scout Brad Hunt and Derek Grant. All right. Don't need pre-draft interviews. And let's go ahead and get right into this. So I don't think that we're going to trade up in the draft at all. We don't really have an overload of picks. Um, I think we just have all of our standard picks again. I don't think two, three, four. Yeah, we just have the same picks. We have the 28th pick because we did make it to round two. So we should still be able to get a medium elite player. Just maybe not one that's going to be ready this year or next year. Um, now, I do just want to take one peek. Is there anybody we want to dump? So Sorelli and Dunn, they're staying on the team. They're valuable parts of the team. We got them for a long time. As far as Damon Severson, we might actually want to move him and go to free agency instead. Eight years at 30 years old, I think Severson would be someone we could move in the draft. So while these guys are all going, we're going to go find trade. And we're just going to add Damon Severson and see what people are willing to give up. Two thirds, so a third this year, a third next year, and Nemesnikov. Hmm. A first, another first round pick. I wouldn't mind actually taking that. We might be able to get one of those medium elite goalies. Hurricane. So so far, the twenty fourth overall is the first is the best. Twenty fourth is the best so far. I don't really want to take players. I want to free up. Yeah, so we're just going to go straight up like this. I want I want to get rid of that cap. I want to be able to sign someone else. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Uh, as far as any other contracts that I want to move on from, Kasperi Kapanen, I can definitely get a depth player for cheaper. So we're just going to add him, see what we can grab up. Fourth rounder. I mean, like, I I'm not worried about being able to sign an 81 overall. So... We're going to get a pick this year because, let's see, are there any? is there any way we can get like two-thirds for him? I doubt it, right? Uh, I also don't want to go way in depth and try to find, yeah. So Eric Comrie, we don't really need to take on him. 
Peter Morazic, no. I think maybe just a third from next year would be good, or this one. Because theoretically, we don't have to re-sign Edmondson because he's going to... That contract is technically going to drop off right after this year, so he's we just don't have to re-sign him. Well, we're not going to have to re-sign Kapanen, which means that's a pointless trade. Um, let's see, Kalen Addison. I mean, I feel like that's a decent deal for him. Um, oh, here we go. All right, so yeah. Kale Peterstrom, 84 overall, max X factors, except for the zone ability. But that 84 overall sniper, medium elite, not bad. All right, let's see. Is there anybody else we want to move on from? Um... Any really bad contracts, maybe? How many years left we got on some of these guys? So like Trevor Moore, I mean, 87, though. He really bumped. Um, I don't think there's any bad contracts here. I think we're pretty good. How much cap space do we have left? 21 mil with some more guys going to be expiring, too. Like Formentin, Kapanen, Toffoli's going to want a lot of money. I don't know what to do about that yet. Jarvis is on his contract year. I don't know. I mean, so here's my thing is with Trevor Moore and Anthony Sorelli being way up here, having uh, having Shane Hull, who's going to grow some more, having uh, Seth Jarvis, who potentially is going to grow, I think we're going to move on from Tyler to Foley. So realistically, I'm going to see if we can find a trade for him right now. We got a third round pick. A third round from this year and a fourth for next year. That's not bad. A third from this year and a third from next year. I like that better. All right, we're going to go here. I know you guys are probably going to hate me in the comments for that. Toffoli was a big part, but he's getting in his later years. He wants to go be on a for sure deep contender team. I mean, I think we are, but it's so up in the air. I mean, you never know. So... Michael Bunting actually jumped to an 86 as well. I have follows up in an 85. I don't know. I think we're good in the salary cap now. I think we have a lot of room to work with 25 mil in the offseason. Um, <clears throat> as far as centers go, I think we're good on centers. Uh, well, we'll need to sign one. Left wingers. I mean, we also have... Who was it? that? All, yeah, I have follow can also play center. And so can Seth Jarvis. So I think we actually have a decent roster already for the coming year. Um, but it's going to be who we decide to re-sign or not. So let's see here. Spencer Knight and Montembeau. I'm good with that pair running forward. Um, let's see. As far as draft picks go, um, we've got the two first, a second, two thirds. So... I think that's all the trades we're going to do. Let's go ahead and just get up to our picks now. Let's see. Anybody that we missed out on? Uh, let's see. And then I just want to check the medium elite. So you got Wellwood here, 79 overall. He's got stick em up. Not bad. Jordan Gavin, we know him from the Detroit series. Michael Misa. Uh, let's see. This guy, Roach. He's only got skilled up, but he's got great stats as a playmaker. Gaudette. He's got Big Tipper and Puck on a string, and then Frederick Lindgren has Wheels, Schneip, and All Alone. Not bad for a scorer, so he should definitely be scoring for the Islanders. Um, all right, so now we have some decisions to make. So let's see. We can get Diagle, get that medium elite goalie. Um, but, I mean, we have Spencer Knight. We're not going to need a medium elite goalie anytime soon. Um... So realistically, I'm looking at Jerome Bork probably. Or, you know, you guys were saying a forward, uh, power forward in the top six. This guy might be the way to go. Jan Kopecky, right wing power forward. NHL ETA is three years, but we do we would get that power forward. He's the only top six forward left as well, it looks like. Let's go ahead and sort by potential here. Uh, we can get these guys in our later picks. In our round three picks, probably. Um, this guy we can get with probably our round two pick. Uh, let's see here. We've got a bunch of elite lows as well. Uh, what is this guy? NHL ETA, three years, four years. So then it would just be this Abel Lackey. So now I need to choose between Abel Lackey, Jerome Bork, 
or the power forward? You know, his shooting is already an A minus. I think we're going to go the power forward. I think I'm going to listen to you guys. Power forward. 64 overall. So we'll see where that goes. Pick number 28. Uh, Jerome Bork did get taken. 65 elite low. I'm, I'm okay with our pick there. I'm definitely okay with that. Let's see what else we have here. So Diagle is still here. He dropped all the way to 29 at least or 28. 28. Do we just take him for the trade value? I mean, like, I don't think there's anyone top four medium, I guess, is a guy who would go here. He's a gem. NHL ETA is only one year on top four medium. Yeah, we're going to take that, actually. 74 overall, top four medium. I'm good with that. Go to pick 61. Did we have our guys taken? Uka Fuji. Illis. Trying to see if our medium elites got taken. Lackey and Kulikov got taken. But I think we still have our medium elite guys. The guys that are going to take a little longer to develop. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... We can go Markov or Lajunin. Both are snipers. So let's just check. NHL ETA, five years. Five years. No similar styles on each of them. Uh, which one has the better shooting already? So C, D, C minus. Uh, and then we got E, D, D minus. E. Okay, so Lejunin is definitely the guy to go for. Yeah, Lejunin is definitely the guy we want to go for. He's got some stats that are already closer to ready. Medium elite, 55 overall. But... He's got that medium elite. So we leave him in juniors for a couple of years. I think that's the plan with Lejeune. And we're going to leave him in juniors for a couple of years. And then uh, let's see. The third for a fourth and Anthony Mantha. I don't think we need Mantha. No, we're going to decline that. I want to take our pick here. Okay, so we still got Yuri Markov, actually. We could take him again. Um, Kyle Sparks is still here as well. Lepis as of uh, we can take him at a later time so we're gonna grab yuri markov as well 47 overall yeah all right so go to pick 94 Let's see what else we have here so we have a top four medium d he's just probably gonna take longer to develop we still have sparks we have this elite low defenseman philip klepis doesn't really have anything close to ready. He's probably going to be like 46 overall. Um, We do have a bunch of top four medium defensemen still here. Noel Hutton. Doesn't look too bad. I like the top four medium. I've seen them grow really well. Yeah, I think I'm going to draft another defenseman here with that top four medium potential. 53 overall is fine with me. Go to pick 127 here. What do we still have? We still have that medium elite goalie. I mean, that, that seems hard to pass up on. Elite low defenseman is also potential there. Uh, we have no top four defenseman left, so we're not going to go there. So it's elite low defenseman or medium elite goalie. This guy is definitely going to take a while to develop. He's only 17 years old, though, so that could work. This guy's 18. We're not going 19 at all. That's a draft rule. I'm going to go Kyle Sparks. I think I'm going to go Kyle Sparks him to pick 160 let's see there's a potential that that guy is still there nah he's not still there let's see nope but we do have like a top say we do have two top six lows that we could probably take a shot on noel popovich or dawson keatley i don't know why but dawson keatley is screaming at me so we're gonna go there and let's see pick 193 so round six so sixth overall for seven and godette An 80 overall, he would be much cheaper to re-sign probably than Kapanen for our fourth line. To give up a sixth to try and get a cheap guy to re-sign? Yeah, sure, we'll try it. Might as well. All right, so round seven here. Here we go. So we do still have some potential NHLers here. We got another top six low, Noel Popovich. We're taking him. Screw it. I like that top six low. 
All right. So, all in all, I think a pretty successful draft. We got a lot of medium elites and elite lows, and we got that medium elite goalie. I think we've got a lot to work with here. So let's go ahead and get into the re-sign phase. Here we go. Now, I also do want to implement... Um, um, let's see. So we can't hire staff yet. I do notice that we can't hire staff yet. So I'm going to wait to, I'm not going to resign any scouts. I'm not going to resign any coaching staff. We are going to completely rehaul that. Um, cause I have some comments that showed that it was going to be a good idea. Uh, so let's see. Um, do we have anybody? Wait, I mean, I mean, I know we have some, but Okay, I mean, our top guy is God Debt. How much does he want? Yeah, I'll give him, like, he does want to play with us. So I'll give him, like, 1.2 for a year. That's good with me. Uh, Allison, he wants a two-way. That's good. Rathbone, he wants a one-way. I'll qualify him. Uh, let's see. He wants a two-way. You know, I'll just qualify as well. And then Perot. Uh, Molendyke. Yep, we do want to grab him up. Uh, Zembel, HL top six. He's probably never going to get better than that. We can go and release there. Top six, low, 63 overall, 21 years of age. No, he's not going to grow. And Shishkinov, no, he's not going to grow. All right, what about goalies? So, Helberg, and then we can probably run Spuriev as our backup. So, Coburn, you're going to get released. Helberg, you can get signed for the AHL squad. And Spuriev, you can also get signed for the HL squad. There we go. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Any unsigned guys we want to get? Bodoin? Hmm. 74. Does that make the squad for the HL squad? Let's see. Uh, so our NHL defenseman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Rathbone as our depth guy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so yeah, Bedoin, we need to start building this AHL team. So Bedoin is going to get signed. Um, I don't want to limit this guy's potential. Do I want him juniors one more year? Noel Hutton definitely is going to be juniors for one or two years, depending on how he grows. But do I want to limit... Y like, I, I don't know if Yakemchuk can maybe bounce up to like a seven, 67... 68 69 type of overall if i leave him in the juniors for one more year i'm gonna do that i have enough money i'm gonna sign a bunch of two ways for this year to fill our ahl um so i'll probably just i'll probably fast forward through that when i do it but as far as our nhl squad it looks like we have pretty much everybody signed so let's go ahead and advance the day see who we get or not um Okay, so there were some guys that didn't sign with us. Uh, let's see. Not unsigned. We want all expiring. So Godet didn't sign with us. I mean, we can give him 1.4. That's fine. Uh, Wade Allison, we can give him... Uh, we can give him the max on a two-way. That's fine with me. Uh, advance one more day. Both of those should sign. And they did. Okay, sweet. So now it's just the RFAs. Um... Which realistically, I don't see any of these guys being approached by uh, anybody else. So we should be able to get those guys signed. We have no expiring goalies, no NHL defensemen, and no NHL forwards. So I think we are good to get into free agency. Now, what do we want to look for? We've got our top line center in either Hull or Sorelli. Good thing that Sorelli has tops or... He's got second line forward, so we can still play him there, and he's not going to dip at all. Shane Hull is probably going to be our top line center. Second line, third, fourth. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see about wingers. So we have Bunting, Ayafalo, Shiri, Formentin. We still have Reichel and Zadino we can use as well. One, two, three, four. So, I mean, realistically, we actually look pretty decent on forwards defenseman one two three four five six i mean we don't look too bad i'm gonna see what's in free agency because we do still have a lot of money but we don't look that bad i mean if there's a stud in free agency we're gonna go for him we want to try to find the face of this franchise long term but realistically i don't think oh and i'll actually show you guys these are the jerseys i put up we haven't gotten to an elimination game in overtime 
but these are the jerseys that I made up for the team. There you go. That's what we got for the Honolulu Heat. Uh, this is the stadium. Looks pretty good. Um, so there you guys go. Uh, we didn't make any changes, so we can just save that. That's fine. Okay, so we need to get the free agency now. I'm fine with those RFAs, even if they get signed. Uh, I gratefully accept. Happy to be back. So two of the RFAs. Okay. That's fine. We can sign some more free agents. Um, all right. So let's see what we got here. Any studs in year number two? Uh, Sebastian Ajo. Um, let's see here. UFAs. Yeah, I mean, Ajo would be a good option. He's definitely a top guy for us for a long time. He's only 27. Uh, do we go Sebastian Ajo? It's not a bad option. He's max X factors, 79 points last year. Play him with Shane Hull and. Hmm. That's not a bad option. I don't hate it. Uh, Cause I mean, it would be him or Reinhardt that we would go for. I think paying 10 mil for Reinhardt would be overpaying, but I'm okay with giving Ajo a decent amount of money. All right, hang on. We got to go look. Let's see. Do we have contract years coming up? We have Shane Hulls, but do we have anybody else's? Do we have big years coming up? Bunting? Let's see. What does he want as an extension? Five at five? I don't know about that. Shane Hull, I could give an extension now. I don't mind doing this. I wouldn't even mind like four at 5.9. We're going to offer that. Oh, wait. Shane Hall got X Factors. Oh, nice. That's going to be nice. Okay. That seems. That doesn't seem right. That's weird. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's for sure. We offered the extension. I'm going to hold off on the rest of these extensions. Um,. I mean, Connor Sherry wants more than what he was making. Aya Follow is definitely going to want more. Yeah. So we're going to hold off on all these extensions. Uh, Dadnov, he'll want less, which is good. Tyson Jost wants more. God debt. Uh, don't know yet because he's on his first year. Um, let's see. He wants more and Zadina doesn't. But I don't think it's going to be too expensive to re-sign him in the re-sign phase. Uh, and then we're good there. Okay. Um, oh, I mean, we have the money to get Sebastian Ajo and still get Shane Hull. Even if he doesn't want the extension, we would still have the money to pay him afterwards. Um, Sebastian Ajo would definitely be a top tier guy for us to get. Um, do we put the high tier money into Sebastian Ajo? Or the potential that he performs the way we want him to. Tony D'Angelo wants 10 mil. That's an, that's entertaining. Um, Gustav Forsling. You know what? I think we are going to go Sebastian Ajo. I think we're going to try to get him. I think we're going to try to pay him. The Islanders are the team that wants him. We're going to go like 12.8. 12.85 for Sebastian Ajo. Pretty much half of our money that we have available. I'm okay with it. Um. Hmm. Anybody else we want to go for? I don't think we need to go for any other forwards. We're going to go get our depth guys eventually. Is there anybody else we just want to snag while we can? Uh, let's see. Let's go forwards. Let's sort by defensive skill. I'm looking for like guys that can potentially step in for injuries. Uh, let's see here. Beauvillier, he would he would be too high. Oscar Sunkfist, maybe. Lars Eller, potential. Sam Gagne, Nick Felino, same thing. Martin Nook. Uh, let's see. Sam Lafferty wouldn't be bad. Zemgis Gergensons wouldn't be bad. I think we're going to try to grab up. I eh, don't really want to spend that much. Yeah, I'm looking for like someone like this. Tanner Pearson. 
Yeah, I'd be good with Tanner Pearson. Let's try to grab Tanner Pearson. Uh, we can go like 1.3 at one year. And then let's see. There's no stud defenseman, so we're not going high money at all for defensemen. We have our six. I'm just looking for another potential depth guy. Hutton wouldn't be bad. Ben Hutton. Uh, Nick Blankenberg, actually. I'm going to go for Nick Blankenberg. We're going to go like 1.35 for a year. Okay. I think that is all we're going to approach. Yes, I think that's all we want to do. All right, let's see. I want to see about Shane Hull extending and Sebastian Ajo signing. Blankenberg accepted, Pearson accepted. Okay. And look at that. Sebastian Ajo and Shane Hull extended. Okay, so now we know what our money is looking like. Let's see. We still have 12.3 million. Okay. So, this is actually going to get interesting here. We got 12.3. Uh, do I want to? I mean, so like we can judge 86 overall. He wants five. What do the 86 in free agency want? The 86s want. So, Tony D'Angelo already lowered his money, but now he has an offer. 4.6. A lot of them got signed already. So, unfortunately, we can't look. Um,. I don't think there's anybody else we really need to go after, right? Hmm. I don't think so. I think we have our team. Let's go look and make sure we have all of our slots filled. Uh, as far as forwards go, we're just going to sort by overall. Count out 12. The first page is automatically 8. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. Pearson, Reichel, Zadina. So we're probably going to move on from... Zadina, Pearson, and Reichel can just be our death guy. I mean, I like the top six medium, but like he literally didn't grow at all last year. I mean, he only had 23 points. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with him being a depth guy. He's got decent defense, so we're fine with that. So Pearson and Reichel, we're going to keep as depth guys. We're probably capping in Pearson, and Reichel's actually going to play. Zadina, we're probably going to try to trade for something if we can. Um, let's see, what about defensemen here? Actually... So Blankenberg, Smith, we still have those guys. Okay, so we have, it looks like everybody we need. Keandre Miller, Vince Dunn, Gerard Addison, White Cloud, and then either Blankenberg or Smith, whichever one does better chemistry, I guess. And then we have our goalies. So we have a lot of cap space. We have all of our players, and I'm actually going to clear Philip Zadina off of our cap as well. So let's see. Uh, we're just going to try to find a trade for Philip Zadina. So, let's see, uh, add asset, find trade, open block. We have a lot of trades. A third, so far is the winner. So far, the third is the winner. All right, let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think the third is probably going to be the winner here. I don't see any other ones. No, okay. So let's just grab the third from uh, technically Arizona, but it's the Carolina Hurricanes third. So here you go. There you go. You got him. Okay. And I think we are good to sim up to the next season. So let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a wrap up here at the end when we actually... Oh... I didn't sign any of my, oh, decline trade, decline trade, cancel, cancel. Oh, no, I didn't hire any of the scouts or hire any coaches. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and sort here. We need one more for Liga, one more for SHL. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Yeah, all the good scouts already got taken. All right, so Barnett, we're going to go ahead and give you money. Gonna go ahead and give everybody the money. We need six of them. We're gonna reassign our scouts at the beginning of the season. We need six of these guys. One, two, three, four. 
five and six. Let's just get all these guys. There we go. Actually, why does that guy have a C overall? I can't withdraw an offer, can I? Unfortunate. Um, all right, we're going to fire one of our scouts and get this Abney guy because he actually has decent, uh, decent stuff. So we're going to fire one of these guys. The Matracos. Yeah, that's good with me. Hire the scouts. All right, let's see. We still have... We want Abney as well. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and offer him a contract. All right, uh, coaches. Okay, we still have some head coaches we can grab up. So like Baldwin, we can grab. Isaac Baldwin, what's his team chem? 54, 65 might be our better option here just to get the better chem. Uh, full, full match on Vince Dunn. Decent on our top liners up there. So yeah, Dwight Mack, wait. Oh, yeah, Dwight Mackey. Okay. The only reason I would go to a lower overall is an insane team fit. But, yeah, we're going to go Dwight Mackey. All right. So, Dwight Mackey, NHL head coach. We're just going to pay him. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and just give him a decent amount of money. There we go. All right. And then we still need an NHL associate coach. Ference. I'd be good with that. Uh, let's see. Yep, I'm okay with him. Give him a decent amount of money. All right, and as our NHL associate coach. Okay, so that should be all next year. I'll make sure I don't, uh, don't screw the pooch on that. Our AHL chemistry sucks. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get up to the season. Hopefully we can get all those guys. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, we don't want this taking forever, so decline and edit trade block. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of this. There we go. Okay, so keep on going here. All right. That's four scouts so far. Five, six, and we need one more. There we go. We got them all. Okay. Um, Sam Ferentz got signed. Okay. Uh, and then we did get Dwight Mackey. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and sim the next season. Here we go. And we're just going to take a look at uh, the player overalls, how our lines are going to stack up. We're not doing any simulation in this video, though. Let's see here. So we should be getting there pretty soon. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and just go to edit lines really quick. All right, so um, Aho does play left wing, so we're going to go ahead and give Hull the, the face-off dot. Um, they have the same face-off over... Or actually, Hull has better face-off, so there you go. That's actually better. Uh, we got Trevor Moore on the wing. We've got Jarvis, Sorelli, and Bunting. I follow Joe Shiri, Kapanen, Dadunov, Formentin. Uh, Kapanov, you are coming out for Lucas Reichel. He actually did grow up to an 82. Nice. Defense, we have... We're going to go Keandre Miller up here. Uh, we're going to go probably, so who doesn't fit? So why is that actually, if they both are neutral, it should, it should be zero. Um, we'll go ahead and go like that. I'm fine with them playing as 82s and I'm okay with them being boosted like that. Vince Dunn and Keandre Miller and then Spencer Knight still an 88, but now max X factors instead of only three. Nice. Okay. Um, that should be good. Our scratch players are Pearson and Kapanen. I'm okay with that. Go ahead and take a look at AHL. I could still, I could still sign guys if I want to, which I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to go, uh, let's see. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go sign. Let's see. Let's do one. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna sign six forwards in like the mid 70s, uh, mid to low 70s, and then I'm gonna sign two defensemen. So, actually, let's see. So, quick sub. We don't have any scratch defensemen, so I'm gonna sign three defensemen and 
six forwards. So let's see. Let's see what we still have in free agency. Um, go team management. Uh, free agents. Let's see what we still have. There's actually... Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and just find... So like sure, I'd be good with you. Let's go ahead and bump that up. There we go. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's go. Uh, so that was one forward. Let's go ahead and go here. Bump that up. That's two. Go ahead and go down here. Let's grab this defenseman. Sure, that looks good to me. All right, what else we got? Let's grab up Schnarr. That's good with me. All right, what else we got? We got some 24-year-olds here. Let's see. We're just going UFAs. We'll scroll back down here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab up. Yeah, Giroud looks good. All right, what else we got? Who's the next defenseman? Let's see, Gilbert. Sure, that's good with me. We want that AHL team doing good. Maybe potentially even grow the coaches down there if they can do good enough. Uh, let's grab up Hollowell. Sure, that's good with me. And then some more forwards. So let's do Regenda. Good with me. Grab up some more wingers let's go with uh taro hiroshi sure from the uh grand rapids griffin squad hardman that's good all right so realistically is there anyone else let's just get this guy too you're in okay so uh and then one more defenseman maybe like here there we go Okay, so that should be enough. Uh, let's go ahead and just advance day a couple times. We're not going to fully get into the... We're not going to get into... Uh, well... No, okay. I'm going to leave it. Those guys should sign. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. Um, we are going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I'm going to do the scouting and everything off camera before the next video. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments of the offseason. Our draft, our free agency, our re-sign... I didn't resign to Foley, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Um, I don't really think we would have had a spot for him. We don't want an 86 on the third line. We already have Aya follow all the way down there. Um, so, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.